Ladies and gentlemen, it is a good day to be a Trump supporter. Breaking report, Fannie Willis, the same lady that indicted Donald Trump, has now just been indicted herself. Who else has been indicted? Well, her team of prosecutors that is attacking Trump. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to ANN, American News Network. I'm your host, Vlad. Really quickly, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Mike Lindell with this company's My Store and My Pillow. Use promo code ANN at checkout at either my store or mypillow.com. Get a huge discount. Links down below in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into this. Breaking. Fannie Willis and her lover boy, Nathan Wade, subpoenaed to testify an upcoming hearing according to new uh, to a new la- lawsuit filed by Trump Rico co-defendant. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis and her paramour Nathan Wade, a top Trump prosecutor she hired, both got subpoenaed to testify at an upcoming evidentiary hearing according to a new lawsuit filed by Trump's Rico co-defendant Michael Roman. Fannie Willis' office was accused of intentionally withholding information in a new lawsuit filed by Ashley Merchant, the attorney representing Trump defendant Michael Roman. The subpoenas, the subpoenas may force Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade to give to give sworn testimony during a televised hearing on February 15th in response to a motion filed by Michael Rowan seeking to have the RICO charges dismissed as well as disqualify Willis over her romantic relationship with Wade. The hearing was scheduled earlier this month. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee told Fannie Willis to respond to Michael Roman's allegations of misconduct by Friday. Now, the new lawsuit filed this week by Michael Roman also accused Fannie Willis of stonewalling attorney Ashley uh, Merchant. Now, that's just the tip of the iceberg, ladies and gentlemen. We also know that the top prosecutor, Nathan Wade, right, the top prosecutor that Fannie Willis hired, paid him $700,000, almost $700,000, using taxpayer funds, and then they took romantic trips together in October and April of 2023, bought Gucci shoes and Burka, uh, Birkin bags, right? The lavish lifestyle. We know that when their love affair became public, Nathan Wade's soon-to-be ex-wife came out and said, now I know why my family is falling apart. Her, she, my husband's employer, right? She's attorney general. He's one of her prosecutors. She's been sleeping with my husband. Now That's why my husband filed for a divorce. Now, he actually was going, now to kind of jump out of the ship to another ship, the soon-to-be ex-wife of Nathan Wade, right, and Wade, they were having a lawsuit. Who keeps what? Now, they were supposed to have courts in a couple of months. When this news broke that they're probably banging each other, his form, his soon-to-be ex-wife filed for a hearing. He was subpoenaed to come in and testify if he's cheating or not, right? All this stuff. Today also, story broke that yesterday, at the end of the day, Wade signed off on signed on an agreement to give his ex-wife whatever she wants. It doesn't disclose what she gets, what he gets, but it says that he signed off and took the deal that was presented to him by her attorneys. Why did he do that? So that he doesn't have to testify about his love affair under oath. Ladies and gentlemen, so they went after Trump, Russia, 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 and the same guy that was hired by Hillary Clinton who pushed the Russia, Russia, Russia collusion is now in prison. I believe he got nine years of federal prison time literally for Russian collusion. We all know that. 
Number two, the guy that ran around to the media talking about Trump's tax returns, they're so bad. They're so bad. The, the guy that leaked Trump's tax returns last week got five years in federal prison for illegally leaking Trump's, Trump's tax return. They attack Trump's kids, but Trump's kids are not criminally indicted. There's no videos of them with a bunch of hookers and crack. But Hunter Biden has been indicted for tax evasion, for felon in possession of a firearm, um, for all this other stuff. And there's videos of him of smoking crack and banging hookers. So you guys see what I'm talking about? Everything they blame on Trump, they're guilty of themselves. They told us that he was going to start World War III and he was going to be a dictator and arrest all of his political opponents. Well, Trump was president for four years and none of that happened. But now under Biden, we have a failing economy. World War III. Arresting your political opponents like it's a banana republic. Last, but certainly not least, I'm going to make a whole separate video on this issue. But did you know that G E. Jean Carroll, right, the one that thinks she's going to get $83.7 million from Donald Trump, trust me, she will not. You will see. So it when that when the situation supposedly happened was almost 30 years ago. The statute of limitations in the state of New York says, lady, if it took you this long, it probably never happened. No. So the state of New York last year passed a bill, passed a new law that only stood for 12 months. What is that law? If you believe someone did something inappropriate to you 30 years ago, 20 years ago, outside of the normal statute of limitations, mm -hmm, you can you have 12 months to sue them. So they, they made this law for just a 12-month period. If you're out of the statute of limitations, you can actually go and sue them. Now, we're giving you a chance in, in the state of New York. Do you know that there was only... One person that took advantage of that law. Can you guess the name of that one person that took advantage of that law? That's right. E. Jean Carroll. So this law was made in New York last year for a 12-month period. To where if you believe something inappropriate happened to you and it's outside of the statute of limitations, you have 12 months to do something about it. We're giving you a shot. And there's only one person in the entire state of New York that went and took advantage of it. <laughs> Smells fishy. By fishy, I mean democratic, far-left, extremist, communist, corruption. It's all a big cabal. It's all a big plan to get Trump. But they're failing. Jack Smith is failing. Fannie Willis is failing. You will see the video I got coming out tomorrow about G E. Jean Carroll. I will expose her and that law that was passed with the help of Attorney General Letitia James. Are you putting two and two together? Good. I'm proud of my MAGA Republicans. But we're going to expose the darkness. We're going to bring light. We're going to speak truth. We're going to stand on the word of God. We're going to stand on prayer and on his promises. And we'll get our country back. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit that bell notification so you are notified every time I upload Trump 2024 or sooner.